Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. So let's talk about crafting recipes in Minecraft, because I've been trying to switch over to the classic crafting system for quite some time now, i.e. this is the system that is on the PC. It's an easy thing to switch over to, and it has so many advantages, which I've gone over in many videos before, but the reason I never stick to it is because I always end up finding a crafting recipe I just can't remember, I blank on it, I turn off the crafting system, and then I don't go back for quite some time. Well, I figured, you know, I'd teach myself how to remember all of the difficult crafting recipes, but since I was doing it anyway, I figured why not make a video on it and share that experience with all of you, so if you want to switch to classic crafting, which by the way, you can do in the options like this. Uh, maybe this will encourage you to, you know, remember some of the harder crafting recipes too. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video on the hardest crafting recipes. If you do all like it, like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like these sorts of videos. But with that said, let's get straight into it, really, shall we? And let's start with the fifth one here. So do you like how I've made like the dice face out of crafting tables? It looked really horrendous to me at first, but it grows on me more and more. So if you hate it, maybe give it some time. But yeah, with that said, let's get into the fifth hardest crafting recipe to remember, in my opinion, which has to be TNT. And I know this is a really simple one, but I always get it mixed up because, you know, it's a nine item recipe. But you need, uh, you know, gunpowder and sand, but it takes up the entire crafting table. And if you get it wrong by doing something like this, for instance, where you spread out the gunpowder and then put the sand in, it takes a lot of time to correct yourself, and that's kind of annoying. So the correct way to do it, in case you're curious, is gunpowder there, 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 and there, and then you put sand in the remaining slot. You need more gunpowder than sand, and the easiest way I can remember this, or you know, again, I had promised the longest time, is to think that well, the inside of the TNC has to be explosive, so therefore the inside is, uh, you know, gunpowder, and then the rest kind of remembers itself from there because it's, you know, no, no piece of gunpowder touches no piece of gunpowder, no piece of sand touches other sand, and it's kind of easy like that. But the other cool thing about this that you might not know is that, you know, sand is obviously really easy to spread out because all you have to do is be like, okay, we'll put your sand there, put your sand there, put your sand there, divide into four parts, and you've turned your sand into a recipe for everything. However, gunpowder is really tricky to divide into five sides, but something they added in, a, I think it was like TU40 recently, is the fact that you can actually distribute items across the five slots. So if you want to, you can, uh, you know, make the game divide your, you know, 64 gunpowder or whatever into five separate slots of 12, just like that, and it even leaves you with the rest rest over if you just want to leave that in a little slot. So you can be like, oh, now we get exactly 12 uh, TNC, which is really, really cool if you ask me. And it's something you can do um, using the distribute function, which you can't necessarily do and you know, what you, that you're not necessarily doing right now. And it's just so handy. And again, a lot of people don't be doing it. So yeah, little first little thing here is uh, use use your TNC, uh, uh, for TNT in particular, gunpowder and distribute is really nice, but it works on pretty much any crafting recipe where you have a lot of one item because dividing a stack of 64 by seven, I mean, you can do it. It's like nine and some remainder, but it's really tricky to deal with the rest. But this Distribute just fixes that for you, and it's a really cool advantage to classic crafting in particular, because, you know, using it in the inventory is nice, like, oh, look, I distribute this between three, but using it in classic crafting is so much more useful, and it's just one of those cool little things that they added to the game that not many people really take advantage of. So, yeah, that's it, let's move on to the fourth hardest recipe to remember, in my opinion, which is actually going to have to be the dispenser. So, the dispenser is somewhat easy to remember, because it's mostly cobblestone, and everyone always has cobblestone on them, because you've always been mining, so you get the cobblestone, like, kind of legs you get, and then after that, it's like, um, I think it's redstone, but then the mistake, you know, that often gets made is like, oh yeah, there's your there's your dispenser. However, this is actually a dropper. Until you add a bowl to the center, you don't have a dispenser. So the trick of this bowl that makes it really tricky to remember is the fact that if you just put a bow in there and it's you know used up, like it probably will be if you have a bow new, it will not work. So you'll be like, oh, I must have gotten something, and then you'll be like, is it like that? No, is it like this? And then you mess up up. So yeah, what is the solution here? The solution is you have to use a fully, uh, uh, I guess, a fully uh, you know like a uh, durability bow. You can't have any uh, amount missing from it. And the really sn uh, sneaky thing here is if you do this in the old crafting system, you might end up using a good bow, because you can use enchanted bows, which I really wouldn't recommend, but, you know, the game will do that for you if you use manual crafting, well, well sorry, automatic crafting, which is why what you want to do is you just want to go out there, throw the stuff on the ground, I guess, combine your bows together, or just repair a bow, or make a new one, make a fresh bow for this occasion, and then try it again, and if you have the magic regular bow, then as you're going to see right here, you'll make a dispenser just fine without any issues whatsoever. And the really cool thing about making dispenser today is you can kind of like put it in and out and in and out and make the dispenser face go from happy to shocked and happy and shocked. And <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it. And that's something you can do with classic crafting that you can't do with, manual cra uh, with automatic crafting. So yeah, one point for automatic uh, for manual crafting right there. I'm going to get their names mixed up a bunch. But yeah, that's the dispenser right there, which can go nicely for your TNT because you can put your TNT in there. So isn't that lovely? So yeah, that said, let's move on to the third uh, crafting recipe I promise remembering. And this is one I always come to because it's to do with uh, the number of diamonds you need to craft it, because basically it's the craft it, uh, it's the uh, enchantment table, so it's uh, made like this. In case you're curious, it has one book at the top and it has two diamonds. I always used to think it was two uh, books and one diamond, and that'd be more convenient because it'd be less diamonds. But yeah, basically this is how you do it, and this one's I guess relatively easy to remember because all you have to think is, okay, look at this. This is because diamonds are on the corners and there's only one book on the top. There's not two books. That's how you do it. But yeah, a lot of people, myself included, have difficulties with this. And if that's you, then uh, pro tip: just kind of think of the shape of it. Most of it's obsidian. 
There's a tiny little edge of diamonds on there, and then there's a book. I don't know where the red comes from in the crafting recipe, but let's just not think about that for now. For now, just realize that yes, there is in fact uh, more diamond than there is book, and there's just the single book on there. There's not, there's not two books, and maybe that'll help you because that's what I'm going to try and mentally do. And I'm getting better and better with the crafting table recipe. In case that's not one you struggle with, maybe the piston is one you do. So yeah, the piston is one of the hardest recipes in the game because it's a nine item recipe. Again, it uses all of these nine slots, and it uses like five different items to get there. So I'm hoping we get this right first time. It takes a little bit of, uh, you know, like playing around me sometimes because basically you got to like actually picture the piston. So the piston has like a wooden head. So you go like that. And then the piston has, I think it would be like stone sides because it's mostly like cobblestone. Uh, and then I guess there's iron for the lever. And then there's redstone because the redstone has to be activated. So boom, that gives us our, our, our piston. It always takes me a, a long time to get there because again, it's like such a complex recipe. But the, the easiest way to think about this is to place it sideways somewhere. So like, I guess like there and then to activate it and think of this. So as you can see, there's wood at the top, you know, this thing is entirely made out of wood. Then there's iron, because it's like the, the shaft thing. The, you know, there has to be redstone in there somewhere, so that's just the reverse. And everything else is stone, because the entire body is made that way. For me, at least, that was like the opening. Aha, that's how you do it. You've just got to think about the thing. And the other key thing about the uh, the, the piston to remember, that I know sometimes it gives me problems, is the fact that the sticky piston is just made from a piston and the slime block. Like, you you know, it's, it's, it's not one of those things where you have to craft it differently. You just make pistons, then you make the other things. And yeah, just one more time, the body is made from stone the the end is made from wood and then obviously you got your your redstone in there to interact with stuff and then the kind of like the arm is made from iron so yeah that's something it's it's overly complex but i you know but working out the logic behind something can really help but what is the hardest crafting recipe to remember in minecraft in my opinion well this crafting recipe is actually so hard that it's the reason that I have such an insane sugar cane farm because I'm just, you know, trying to get a bunch of sugar thinking maybe I'm making the cake wrong. But no, in all seriousness, basically, uh, the hard hardest recipe to remember is going to have to be the cake because, honestly, this is a recipe that I have such difficulty to remember because it's just so bizarre and, you know, out there because it's meant to be kind of like baking except you're baking using a bunch of ingredients in an order that doesn't really add up too much. But yeah, basically, the cake is made from... I've removed from the chest. I have to go for this again. The cake is made from wheat at the bottom. It's made from milk at the top for some reason and then there's sugar um on the so just like this so then there's sugar on the sides again i guess maybe there's like it's a sugar on the side and then there's egg in the middle exactly why it arrives at that is something i can't really reverse engineer but you know just just for a second let's try and think about this a little bit so i guess let's uh take the buckets back and then let's just let that drop on the floor so yeah basically if you look at the cake right here you can see the base is made from a wheat color at least so you're like aha that's like a bready base and then we've got like a milky top and then the sides it's got some icing on so you can think of it that way and then the center has an egg because why not right i mean i know it's used to uh, craft a thing but maybe if you think of it like that because i can always remember that yeah a uh, you know a cake is baked from eggs sugar milk and um wheat because of the runescape crest but i can never remember which order it goes in so i guess if you just have the things just get a bunch of each of them and then think okay top has to be milky because reasons bottom has to be wheaty because reasons side has to be icing because uh, sugar because icing and then eggs go in the middle because it's the last remaining ingredient that's one way to think of it and it will just work for you so yeah just show you again so it's the distribute function and let's see once more so just like that, we'll distribute and be done with it. So we've got 20 in the bottom, then we're like, okay, but then there's milk on... Okay, we don't have enough milk. But then you throw your milk on the top, and then you throw your sugar on the sides, because guess what? It's got icing on. And then you just throw the egg in there, because it's the last possible thing, and you get the thing done. And I uh, know, this to me, this, this shouldn't be such a revelation, but to me, I was like, aha, I can do it. I can finally bake cakes in Minecraft, because every single time I have to switch back to you know manual, uh, automatic crafting, or I just have to go, I have no idea and give up. And you know, this is a way better solution. I much like this a lot better, and hopefully all of you do too. So yeah, hopefully this video taught you something about crafting recipes in Minecraft. Hopefully you learned uh, something about any of them, and I hope this video was informative in some way. I know for most of you, it's like, I know every crafting recipe but truth be told you know remembering what is it like there's hundreds of different ones at this point can be kind of tricky but there's so many advantages to switching over to classic and maybe this video was the final push you needed to be like aha i can do this finally or maybe you know you actually have difficulties with like the pickaxe or like your leggings or something whatever it is i hope you learned something from this video in some way if you did or like it like the video let me know because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like crafting related videos share if you liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because i make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see them daily on your homepage. thank you all very much for watching i'm i'm gonna go detonate some of that tnt i think um and i'll see you all in wait 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 and i'll see you all in the next one so goodbye everyone